Okay, yeah, today is June 20th, 2020. Okay, let's start today. There should be the fourth English podcast. And uh, the name is Silence Place. Okay, and I think so. Let's uh, preview or go over, window, go over previous. Previous one, previous ways talk about name. You know something. The first one is around here. So I live around here, and oh, uh, I live just around. I live right around the corner. You know your school, my school is uh, just right around the corner. Okay, and also one greeting phrase is uh, how is it going? Okay, I think recently many. I listen to many, you know, materials. They always, you know, give recommend recommendation. Let's say for greeting, we say how's it going. They said it's good. Okay, how how is they how's they going? How's it 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 going? Yeah. Okay. How they how they man. Yeah. Yeah. And then it's a uh, in a bit of of hurry. I said, okay, I'm in a bit of hurry. I'll call you back later. Okay, I'm in a bit of hurry. You know, let's uh, uh, stop with time. Okay, and get it work, get it down, get the work done in a in a bit of hurry. Oh, we can say in a in a hurry. You know, that's no problem. I think, and uh, contact details, contact details. That means so uh, a some you know. Just like telephone number or address or something like uh, you know, information, you know, contact information, you know, contact details, details, you know, uh, slip my mind. They, I think this is very important, you know, forgot something, you know, forgot something. So, for example, if your wife said, uh, asked you buy something, buy some groceries on the way back to home, and if get and uh, you can say, I'm sorry, it uh, slipped my mind. Sorry, it slipped my mind. You know, so you forget it. And the last one, terrible is it means you bad at something, and you are not good at something, you know, bad, you're terrible with. Uh, sorry, I'm terrible with uh, uh, English writing. I'm terrible with mathematics. I'm terrible with, uh, you know, physics. I'm terrible with chemics, or uh, whatever, the things, you know. You know, terrible is okay, and then, then let's start this one. Uh, today's you know English part is silence place, so it means a couple, you know, was uh, watching movie, you know, in the cinema in the movie theater also. So this uh, scenario, so, and uh, some people in front of them are making so much, were making so much noise. Okay, uh, so. The lady said, wow, it's so inconsiderate. And uh, the husband said, don't worry about it. It's not such a big deal. So, so <laughs> you know, husband is always like that. Oh, but the lady says, I can't hear a thing. I can't hear a thing. Excuse me, can you keep it down? And the guy in front of uh, them said, okay, sure, I'm sorry about it. And uh, then a mobile phone was ringing. Ah, the lady says, someone's phone is ringing. And the husband said, honey, I think it's your phone. Did you forget to switch it off? And the lady said, oh, no, you're right. That's so embarrassing. Yeah, because uh, she thought that some other people's phone was ringing. But actually, that's her phone, you know, for that. So that's embarrassing. And then this, the guy in front of them said, okay, do you mind keeping it down? Do, do you mind keeping it down? I'm trying to watch. I'm trying to watch a movie here. <laughs> okay. So the, the, that guy got the counter, you know, you know, the counter fighting back, <laughs> you know, uh, like this one. So there are some, you know, words and uh, phrase here. The first one I think is uh, inconsiderate. Inconsiderate. You can see in a in plus considerate. I think that's easy to understand. Consider it means somebody, you know, is always care about some other people's, you know, feelings or something. Inconsiderate, that means that, okay, the people, you know, not care about other people's feeling. If, uh, if someone not, if someone, 
do not care about other people's feeling and means is is inconsiderate uh, I can say you know yesterday yesterday you know in the subway yesterday when I was in subway you know there's one old lady was standing there and uh, nobody gave their seat you know to her okay so you see that all the everyone in the subway you know was uh inconsiderate that was inconsiderate you know but that was so not care about you know other people's feeling inconsiderate so just like they say in the movie theater that if the guy the guy who who in front of them you know make too much noise you know much very noisy so that is inconsiderate you know that is inconsiderate and then you know her husband said oh it's not such a big deal as the that is not a big problem you know for that one so i think you know they still can watch the movie so not uh, disturbed by the not disturbed by that guy you know but uh, the lady is not agreed, you know, not agreed with uh, his uh, husband, you know, he said, you uh, know, so it's not, it's not such a big deal. Or sometimes also it's not a big deal, you know, I think many people, but here they said it's not such a big deal. Okay, they said it's not such a big deal. Don't be dramatic, it's not, don't be dramatic. I think that's good. Don't be dramatic, it's not such a big deal, you know, for that one, we can manage it. It's not such, not a such big deal. It's not such a big deal. Or if, uh, uh, for example, you are going to attend a meeting, but uh, maybe hey, because of, because you know traffic, because the, because of the traffic, you may late. So you call the office and sorry, I, uh, I'm I'm going to be late for maybe ten minutes or something. And uh, maybe they said, okay, it's not such a big deal. The boss will late for twenty minutes. <laughs> will be late for twenty minutes. Don't worry, take your time. Okay, so it's not such a big deal. Oh, and uh, then the lady said, I can't hear a thing. I can't hear a thing. I can't hear a thing. That means she cannot hear anything. Uh, he can't hear nothing. You know, so I can't hear, so I can't hear a thing, can't hear a thing, so I can use it, I can't hear a thing, you know, for that, I can't hear, I can't hear a thing, you know, so when my daughter make the TV voice, uh, TV voice so loud, I would talk, to, uh, uh, you know, you I talk to her, you know, for that, well, I can't hear, I can't hear, I can't hear a thing, you know, for that one, I can't hear the hear a thing no uh, means you know lower the volume you know low lower the tv volume or something you know like turn down i'll say we can turn it down you no know, turn it down turn the volume down or turn turn it down or turn it down okay like this you know i can't hear the thing sure and uh, the guy said sorry about that and then they said, uh, can you keep it down? So keep it down, keep, keep it down. Keep it down means uh, keep quiet, be quiet. Can you keep it down? Keep it down. The first time I hear about, I hear this idiom, keep it down or slow, keep it down. Keep quiet, be quiet. Can you keep it down or do you mind keeping it down? Would you, would you keep it down? Keep it down, keep it down. So be quiet. I'll keep it down. You know. So that means uh, uh, if you want, for example, when you talking a phone, you know, when you're in the phone talking, and uh, maybe your daughter. <laughs> I always think of my daughter or somebody just uh, you know speak, uh, just speak aloud you know beside you and you can't hear a thing you know you said okay keep it down you know I'm talking on the phone on the phone I'm talking on the phone keep it down okay keep it keep it down keep it down so here and then next one is a switch off I think this one everybody knows switch off okay switch your phone off switch off switch off your phone uh, in you know in the petrol station or gas station you know you already mentioned it there you know switch off the engine or switch the engine off you know that means you know the switch off your engine so you can put that 
petrol uh, fill up your tank you know, during your fuel during your fuel up your tank you know just switch up the engine but you know very strange in Dubai you know when I was in Dubai they don't they don't they don't require they don't request you you know to switch off the engine you know because you know summer is very hot you know the, in the summer it's very hot 45 or sometimes 50 degrees if you if you switch off the engine it's very very hot in the car so and they not they don't do not request to re switch off the engine but in most i think in most of other countries you know they need you know you have to switch off the engine Okay, switch off. You can say switch the TV off or switch off the TVs. That's easy. And next one, okay, do you mind keep me down? I'm trying to watch a movie here. I think that's all. You know, this is very short. This is a very short part, but uh, also, you know, there's some very good, you know, word and uh, some idiom we can use in our daily lives. Uh, inconsiderate, not such a big deal. Can't hear a thing. Keep it down. You better be quiet. Switch off. Do you mind? Oh, last one. Do you mind? Like, would you mind? Do you mind? Do I? Do you mind? Do Do you mind holding my clothes? Do you mind? Uh, do you mind passing me that uh, sword? Do you mind like that? But be careful your tone. If your If your tone is very strict. Uh, like that guy, do you mind? Do you mind switch switch your phone off? You know, do you mind keeping it down? Do you mind uh, like this? Oh, that's not good. <laughs> okay, okay. I think that's today's uh, English part. Okay.